So for this part then, we're given that x equals sex to y and asked to find dx by dy in terms of y. And to do this, we can call back on this result we proved earlier. That if we differentiate sec x, it's equal to sec x tan x. But if we were to let x equal sec t, okay, I'm going to use the chain rule here. And what we would have is we would let t equal the 2y. So we'll just put where t equals 2y. So we've got x equals sec 2y. And to find out what by dx dy is going to be, as I say, we need to use the chain rule. This is the same as dx multiplied by something over dy. And these values here and here have got to be exactly the same. And if we use the chain rule, it's going to be dt. So to get dx dy, let's just come over here now. Therefore, dx dy is going to equal dx by dt. Well, if x equals sec t, basically we've seen it's going to be sec t tan t. So in place of the t, it's going to be 2y. So it's sec 2y tan 2y. And if I put that in brackets, we now need to multiply it by dt dy. And if t was 2y, differentiate 2y with respect to y, you get 2. And this would look a lot better now if I just wrote the 2 at the front here. So we get 2 sec 2y and times tan 2y. And there you have it, dx dy in terms of y.